Alright, sick. So we're back with a quick little video, and I just wanted to do a little quick rundown of these two caps, the AP Female Fat Cap and the Female Fat Cap. They're both very popular, and we featured them in a recent video, but we've gotten a tremendous amount of questions about them, which, uh, you know, I just want to make sure we address everything and make sure all your concerns and, and whatnot are taken into account. But uh, anyway, so uh, this is the AP Female Fat, and this is the Female Fat Cap. Now, as you can see, one comes with quite a bit of accoutrements. And the reason why is this is actually a cap for like hairspray or you know deodorant or something you know some type of commercial application so when you buy them they come with this over cap and they have this uh, beauty ring around the side of it and it serves no purpose other than a decorative ring and uh, these rings vary in size depending on manufacturer and this this is really not a necessary component to it in the spray painting world it's literally called a beauty ring and we're an ugly form of art so it needs to go away so <laughs> and the reason why I'm saying this is a lot of people put it on the can directly with the beauty ring and it works with some people other people have problems with it and um, I think for the sake just to keep everything very very simple for everybody is just make sure you remove the beauty ring just take it off remove it and now you have the actual cap the button cap that was on there originally um, another question that a lot of kids had was how to mount you know, and I understand it's kind of a weird. It doesn't it doesn't mount the same as a normal cap, you know, because it feels kind of strange. But if you just use a little bit of pressure, it will spray a bit, maybe about an inch of a line's worth of spray. But if you push it far enough that it clicks on, you feel the click, the definitive click. Watch this. All right, just make sure you give it a nice firm push. It will spray a bit, but that's okay. And it might try to pop out, but just make sure you keep your finger on it as you seat it, and you should have no trouble. There you go. Nicely seated, right guys? Now again, you can practice it a few times. I know some people have some trouble with this. So we'll try it again. Just make sure that you have it nicely firmly pushed and you hear that nice definitive click and you're ready to do some graffiti art. Now for the other cap, this is the female fat. You'll probably have to get it to spray a little bit when mounting it too. This is pretty common with the female caps. This is common with the female uh, caps and valve systems. And this is something I've, I've said in a lot of my videos. I think, my opinion, that any spray paint, uh, except for the Montana Gold Mega Can or whatever that thing is, any spray paint that has a male valve, that features a male valve out of the factory is a defective product. And there's a multitude of reasons. Obviously, mounting caps is difficult. The other thing too is, um, you notice how these don't, get the good flare like the old Rustos used to, that's because the way that the caps mount on them. It's almost impossible to get that same kind of flare characteristics, but you still do pretty good. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna completely hate on them because Rustos a fantastic product, but it's just, come on guys, give us the old valve. We love the old valve. But in the meantime, we'll go ahead and hack the cans like we always do. You will, we, you will never, ever, ever get around a graffiti artist. We will find a way around it no matter what. It's in our nature. We're inherently a, a DIY culture. We're DIY people. We always figured things out ourselves. I mean, obviously graffiti is expanding into the greater populace, which is awesome, which is great, because we want more people to be doing it. Uh, but for the original Gs, the old people who've been doing it for a long time, um, we are the ones who created this culture, and that's why we did these type of things. And so I want you guys, the, new, the newcomers, to start being creative and trying this type of stuff as well, too. So this is the AP Female Fat Cap, and uh, I've, like I've said in previous videos, I think it flares really, really nicely. Oh yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, by the way, I'm hitting up my homie Sled from Instagram. He said, please hit me up, Green Ranger. And this is the, uh, the other female fat cap. As you can see, it's not quite as clean on this crispy white surface. And that is uh, something that we've discussed in previous videos. This is the cleaner of the two, but it's not as, uh, it doesn't come out as fast as this one does. So if you're a street bomber and you want to get those really gnarly fills in there, this is really the choice. But if you want to get some really buttery tags, it's pretty hard to beat. But it's kind of interesting to see the different characteristics of the cans, right? Like the amount of overspray you get on this one and the minimal amount of overspray. And I'm sure when you're watching the video at home, you're probably like, oh, that doesn't look very good. But that's normal. It's completely normal. If you ever used a can of Rusto, done a black and silver fill, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It really oversprays a lot. 
but it's a gorgeous paint. It'll be there forever. Get a couple more tags. Let me try and go a little bit quicker. Probably get a little less overspray. Well, not much. That's okay. Oh, that's a sick tag, Sled. I like that. So like I said, for me personally, for just doing all around tags, I personally like the female fat. But if you're doing big fills, then you'll probably want this. Or alternately, do your fill with this, do your outline with the female fat cap and get those nice, clean, hard shades. It's really hard to beat. And we have the AP female fat and we have the female fat cap. Very similar sounding names, but they are pretty different caps in how they operate. Again, cleaner lines, much softer spray, better flares, harder lines, more overspray, but significantly greater filling capability. So again, depends on what you're looking for. If you need high output, you can't beat these. So let's go ahead and close out the video. Thank you very much. This is Green Ranger coming at you from artprimo.com, 206-365-4083. Again, 206-365-4083. We're your number one source for anything graffiti, markers, caps, spray cans, you name it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to share our videos. Don't forget to con <clears throat> Don't forget to hit us up on Instagram, uh, at Art Primo, also me, at Green Ranger Reviews. If you have any specific questions or would like to see products featured in future videos, definitely hit me up on the Instagram, at Green Ranger Reviews. I'll be happy to respond if I like the idea. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.